doing these live streams uh, every day. Uh, and uh, so it's good to be back. Um, can I uh, just start by apologizing for to um, for Wednesday? We did the best uh, dry club session that we've ever done. It was a fantastic uh, session. We had nine people legally because uh, we have sharing, etc., etc. There was nine people in it, and we did some shadowing. We did uh, uh, carnage, uh, flatlining. We did lots of really good exercises, and when we videoed it so it went it was live streamed so some of you watched it live i don't know who did um but because we couldn't see who was watching it but it failed to upload so after the live stream it disappeared youtube lost it it doesn't exist so i'm really sorry about that uh, and i'm really sorry um yeah for the people who were there because i explained all the exercises and why we do them as as i always do uh, it was a really good session. We really had fun. Um, it didn't rain, and but uh, YouTube lost it. So I'm really, really sorry uh, that it uh, it didn't upload. But you know, there you go. Um, so tonight uh, we are gonna go through um, suits. So um, we I did a, a, a live stream. Uh, we cover I covered suits and, and a little bit about suits, but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about the suits and different suits and why you'd have them. Uh, and I've got also got a video on here uh, of fixing a suit. So if the worst happens and you rip your suit, then this is a nice video there um, for you uh, yeah, to show how, how to fix that. Okay, so um, before we go any further, we've got some uh, fantastic stuff happening. Uh, it does look like the sort of travel corridors, I've been calling them air bridges, but the travel corridors, there's going to be an announcement at the end of next week. Uh, they've brought that forwards. Um, uh, so the 29th of, of June, there's going to be an announcement, which is fantastic about the air bridges. Uh, sorry the travel corridors and it does look like Greece is going to be them in one of those places we can go to so if you are interested in a yacht trip um, please uh, let us know um, we've also uh, Egypt maybe they haven't talked about Egypt but it may be in there already so we can already start planning our trips free festo is still happening on the 17th um, and it does look like because we've moved down to a level three rather than a level four with COVID that we may be able to have some lift sharing going on, but we'll let you know uh, nearer the time. So 17th of July is free fest and September the 27th is uh, the uh, yacht trip. Uh, September 27th that's it okay so without further ado let's go straight in uh, with wetsuits so people are always asking me uh, us what wetsuit they should buy okay so it, it it's an open-ended question obviously uh, it depends where you're going to be diving we're based in the UK so we want a suit that's kind of useful uh, most people want it all year round um, to give you an idea, in the summer, so uh, from July, August, in a lake, you could get away with a three mil, okay? Um, the, the summer and aug or autumn, you would want a five mil suit. Under ice, um, you need a five mil suit. If it's extremely cold, you want a smooth skin five mil suit. I would never suggest getting a seven mil suit. Uh, they're just too thick and too bulky. They they they're like really hard to move in. Um, so I would never suggest a seven mil suit. We wear uh, five mil suits, smooth skin suits under ice. We wear them in caves. So uh, and in Iceland, five mil suit uh, is pretty is is perfect. Five mil smooth skin in Iceland, which is two group two degrees above freezing. Five mil smooth skin. So if you uh, are based in in Europe. I'd, I'd kind of open it up to Europe and you say what suit is my first suit I'd say get a five mil because you can always cool yourself down but uh, you can't heat yourself up so a five mil lined suit so um, I would also 
uh, also suggest you um, don't go on Elios's website because they're brilliant suits but they're not brilliant website designers. So you can go on their websites and it's pages and pages of rubber and it doesn't make any kind of sense. So if you're a member of No Tanks and you ask for my, uh, my FAQ uh, about wetsuits, I will just offer you three suits, okay? Um, so all of our suits are two-piece suits. Uh, we don't go for the Farmer Johns. Farmer Johns are not the best option. So high waist pant, two-piece suit so let's go through the details of that it's a two-piece suit with an incorporated hood uh, the uh, pool suits tend to let water in the neck okay because they've not got a hood on them and they tend to have a zip which allows water room which is fine if you're in hot water and you're only going to do one or two dives um, that's brilliant but if you're going to be in the water for a bit longer um, and it's not tropical waters then you need an incorporated hood Okay. that means the water doesn't go down two piece suit and the reason you don't go for the farmer john you go for the high waist pant is because you roll the top of the suit down uh, at the top of the legs you roll it down and that means the smooth skin uh, the open cell of the of the top sticks to the open cell of of the high waist pant okay so you um uh, you will you uh have the, the trousers rolled down so exposing the inside and then the suit goes over the top and creates a seal okay. and this is super important to keep you warm again they don't they don't tend to uh, they don't tend to teach that that technique if you're learning in warm water which is fair enough because you don't need it but as soon as you get in cold water that's why you have it the other thing is uh, farmer john which has the straps over the shoulders it's very difficult to go to the toilet in okay you have to take your hood your top right off if if you just have the legs the high waist pant legs you can obviously pull them down and, and go to the loo so if you're running to get to the loo um you wouldn't run at raceberry though because you never run uh, at raceberry uh, but if you're moving swiftly towards the loo um you know you don't have to take your whole top off so two-piece suit no zips on there always get an open cell on the inside so um let's have a look um let's have a see if i can get some light on on, on my bits of uh, bits of neoprene okay so uh this is just a selection of neoprene rubbers that we've we've got over the years from from elios okay um and some of them have a, a kind of a lining on the uh on the inside okay and uh so uh, usually a bland bland color can i can i get this shot yeah there we go so uh this is green lined on the inside this is gray lined on the inside and on the inside of the suit it doesn't keep you as warm okay you really want um that you really want uh, the open cell so the soft open cell rubber uh, on the inside against your skin okay this uh, the rubber is lots of tiny little holes uh, little air bubbles and those bubbles are open okay so open cell so each of the bubbles is, is an open cell so um, see that that's a that's a line suit there uh, orange um, and, and then the, the unlined is is this and you, you can tend to it's kind of sticky okay um, and that kind of sticks to your body and keeps you nice and 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 warm okay so you don't want lined on the inside unless unless and it's a very uh, specific occasion where you have a suit that is something like this which is one and a half mil so one and a half mil of neoprene and this is going to be very very weak but you're not going to be wearing it for warmth okay so you have the lining on the inside okay and the smooth skin on the outside and the lining makes it stronger okay uh, obviously you're not wearing it for warmth so that doesn't matter so um I so say this is just a selection of different colors and options that uh, that you can kind of get nice blue there uh, or camouflage that's got a, literally a photograph of a fish on it you can see that um, 
yeah, and, and different colors, etc., etc. And so, realistically, there's uh, uh, two options for suits that you, that we recommend. I recommend. So you've got lined on the outside, which is going to be your first suit. You want the suit lined on the outside. This makes it more hard wearing. So if you scrape it on a on a rock or a, or a wreck, if we're in Raysbury, it's not going to rip. Okay. Um, so that's lined on the outside. Okay. Um, always open cell on the inside. The other one is a smooth skin. We don't sell smooth skins. We only sell super smooth skin. So that's a smooth skin on the outside. Uh, but the super smooth skin, it has uh, like a Teflon type uh, coating on it, which means it glides through the water super smooth. Okay. Uh, and you can actually feel the difference how you kind of glide through the water. Now, um, they they're were developed for performance. So if you're going deep, um, you, you, go, you go quicker, right? but for us, it's the fact that if you uh, if we're in cold environments, uh, the super smooth skin doesn't hold water on the outside of the suit, so there's no evaporation, so you don't get as cold. So if you imagine, uh, you know, if you're in Egypt, super hot, and you wear a t-shirt in the water, as soon as you come out, the t-shirt's wet. A little bit of wind, and you'll get cold, even in Egypt. And that's because the water's evaporating off the off the uh, off the t-shirt, making you cold. And the same thing happens if you have a wetsuit with a, a nylon or, or like recovering on the outside. Okay, as soon as you come out of the water, evaporates, and and you get cold. Now. You might say, oh, I'll just stay in the water then and I won't get cold. That's true. But when you're laying face down in the water, your shoulders are out of the water and they're just going to be getting uh, wind chill. Okay. So we get the super smooth skins uh, for uh, the warmth. But, okay, super smooth skins also are super flexible because the lining on the outside of the suit uh, makes it... Uh, harder to stretch okay when you haven't got the lining on the outside uh, just the rubber especially the, the rubbers that we use um, they are super stretchy right okay? so super smooth skin super more warm super comfortable glide through the water a little bit more expensive okay so why would everybody have one because they're super delicate you can put your thumb through it uh, and and just rip it and um, when we get suits we sometimes get uh, some off cuts in there and, and we hand them around and you, people can just you know in the club they sit around just put your thumb in and it and, and it rips it okay so that that's it that's what we do we always get tailor-made suits so they come from Elios uh, and there are other tailor-made uh, suit companies and these are different from the suits uh, that you'll buy off the shelf. Not only the suits off the shelf standard sizes, but the, the rubber's not quite as soft. It's not as delicate. It's a little bit more hard wearing. So it's a little bit stiffer. It's not quite as warm, etc., etc. Okay. So uh, when you go for a tailor-made suit or a, a proper, not a proper, uh, uh, high quality suit like the Elios suits, um, they are warmer and more comfortable and more flexible uh, and obviously uh, it's like 20 or 30 euros extra to have it made to measure so we always say go to made to measure there's some guys who are kind of guy shaped and when they hire a suit office and they they, you know, they put a size 2 on and it fits like a glove I say yeah you can buy a size 2 but most of the time most people I'd suggest getting um, made to measure, especially the ladies, because the ladies have uh, lady lumps and you need uh, a made to measure suit. Okay, so some rare occasions, yeah, guys can get away with uh, off the shelf, but most of the time, for 20 quid extra, you might as well have made to measure. It's just going to be more comfortable and warmer. That's it. Okay, so they're the two suits we offer the standard and the super smooth skin. Okay, they're the ones we suggest. They're the ones that we order through free Elios, and there are Elios have oh, maybe fifty types of rubber. We cut through all that. They're all similar. They're better for this, better for that, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. But we just have those those two options. Um, 
We also love the colors. Uh, black wetsuits are uh, pretty boring and it's not really what we uh, as a club kind of see as free diving. We don't want it kind of kind of black and uh, it wants to be more, more, more kind of fun. But more than that, for me, black wetsuits are awful for photographs. You will very, very rarely see a photograph that I've taken of somebody in a black wetsuit. Never, never done it. Um, and that's because uh, it, it just doesn't doesn't reflect any sort of color and, and you, you can't see it. So if you want a photo of yourself, then um, <laughs> if you want a photo of yourself, then don't wear a black wetsuit. Okay. Um, uh, I'm being told off for saying uh, lady lumps. Well, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, you have shapes which are different um, from each other, um, and so you have a made to measure suit. I don't know how else to say it. Um, the likelihood of, of you finding one off the shelf is, is, un is unlikely. Uh, okay, so um, ba -bam. I was actually thinking hips, actually, but you know. Um, what else was I going to say about suits? Uh, uh, yeah, so colours, we go for the colours. Um, the other thing is, if you've just, uh, if you're out with no tanks and there's say 30, uh, 30 people at the, at the session and all your suits are laid out, nice uh, distinctive colours means you know which is your suit. And, and you know, you, you may not think this is a problem, but believe me, the amount of people who have picked up the wrong black wetsuit next to all the other black wetsuits, it's, uh, you know, it's easily done. Um, so, uh, Kiri's always uh, also mentioned that um, under these suits, as I said uh, when I was talking about the open cell on the inside, the open cell needs to stick to your skin. So, you don't want to wear a rash vest because a rash vest will wick uh, water in and you will get colder. Okay, so you also don't want to wear uh, uh, you know, long shorts. Uh, especially the guys, you know, Bermuda surf shorts, um, because they're just going to get rumpled up under the suit. So speedos should only ever be worn by Italians and under wetsuits. That's it. So speedos, or in the ladies, you want to wear a bikini. Uh, you want the maximum amount of skin in contact with the open cell suit, because that's going to give you the most most warmth. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's kind of it. So if you have the unfortunate situation where uh, you have put your finger through a smooth skin suit and you've ripped it, um, it can be most upsetting. But smooth skin suits are hold to held together. When you buy them, they're, they're, only, they're glued together. There's no stitching on them. So if you rip one, you can fix it. So um, I'm not the best suit fixer in the world. Uh, I'm a practical suit fixer. In other words, uh, if you break your suit, I will fix it so you can dive again. So I, I, you know, I give that caveat before I show the video of me fixing a suit. Okay, so um, this is a suit that was ripped a couple of weeks ago uh, and uh, I couldn't fix it because I needed some new Black Witch. Uh, and I'll explain why in the video. Um, so shops opened up last week, managed to get some Black Witch, and I fixed it, and I filmed it for you. So here is, I nearly said, here's how to fix. Here's one way to fix a wetsuit. Here we have a rip in a five mil Yamamoto super smooth skin wetsuit. Now, this is probably the worst rip uh, you'll ever see because it's not on a plane if it was here it'd be very easy to stick because it's on a single a single plane and you can lay it flat and stick it together whereas this is in the middle of two uh, seams so it actually wants to be in a, in a three-dimensional kind of uh, place like this so especially under the gusset here where the angle changes. So this is quite a tough, tough fix. 
There's many ways of uh, fixing uh, a suit like this, and I'm just going to show you the way that I would do it. Um, I prefer Black Witch, so I've got a brand new bottle of Black Witch. Um, if it was a smaller rip, I could get away with using um, you know, an older, an older uh, pot, but the new, the newer it is, the more liquid it is, the easier it is to work with. Now, the first thing uh, most people would do in this situation is uh, decide which end to start. And it seems sensible to start at, at this end. Uh, line it up and then mark on it uh, two marks with, with a pen. So you'll be doing it a section at a time. So start with uh, this section here for sake of argument. And you'd mark on either side of, of, of the split uh, with, a, with a pen to show when they're lined up. But I, I prefer not to do that. I prefer to go like natural. So you can see if you look closely, uh, you'll see uh, a little nick in, in the suit here. And it lines up perfectly uh, with the nick on the bottom like this. Okay, so the first section I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stick from the end here uh, up, up to um, the, that nick. And then the next section, I'll find another natural feature. Um, the reason I do this is, um, A, where the natural feature is, or, or the, 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 in this case, the little nick, it's a change in direction. So my pressure that I'm build, rebuilding the suit with will change um, as, we, as we move along. So I actually want to stop here anyway. So if I was going to mark it with a pen, I'd mark it here anyway. So I might as well just use use that nick. Now you can stick it inside out or right side out. It doesn't really matter. And for me, I just want it to be strong and and, and waterproof. And, and the look of it, especially in a place like this, where it's going to be covered by the top half of the suit, isn't really uh, kind of that important as long as as long as it's straight and, it, and it's functional. So all I'm going to do is uh, start with, um, take off that, pierce the, pierce the thing. Same people use matchsticks. I'm just going to dab it on and make sure um, I've got good covering on both sides before, before moving on. I'm going to protect the work surface just with a, a piece of paper. Under here you can use newspaper or normal paper. But this also gives me something I can just wipe my fingers off onto. Or, you know, leave the cap for instance. So, it's going to be very liquid and I'm just going to go up to that nick. So, don't be shy with it. Make sure you get it really on all the way down both sides Need a little bit more on there now depending on how warm it is depends on how long you leave it for again on the overspills or the stuff that i've got here i i can check whether uh whether it's going off just simply by touching this and i can see it's not quite still liquidy People have timings on this, but I find if it's really warm, especially if you're in a warm country doing it, or if the black witch is old, it takes different time. So I like to try and check. And I'm gonna line that little nick up that I mentioned earlier. And work towards that little nick. There you go. The nick's in place and squeeze together. I may have been a little bit quick on that one. And squeeze it, pinch it together. Now what I'm doing, I'm squeezing this way and squeezing this way between my fingers to stick the top of it and stick the bottom of it all the way along. Now 
and looking at the inside, you can see there's a little bit of a rubber missing just in the middle there. You can see that. Maybe you can see it, hopefully. I will come and fix that in, in the end, but that's not too bad a fix. It's joined all the way along. This time I started at this end, stretching it along to nick this end. A few inches later. I'm not too fussed about uh, missing um, the very corner of where I've stuck. I'm not too fussed about missing that. So um, right in the right in the corner there. I'm not worried if I don't get um, glue right in there because when I turn it inside out and we check it for holes, uh, any holes like that, we can glue up uh, at the end. As long as as long as it's all in line, then uh, then we're good to go. So don't be acting like a, acting like a poor poor Look at you sobbing like a moon You see here the rubber actually is um, the way it's cut It's Again this is the 3D part of the gusset So uh, the rubber actually want, is being pulled apart So it's actually going to be very difficult to glue this section next So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it over And start at uh, the other side And you can already see uh, that is pushing itself together and there's also uh, quite a few natural features which I can use to, to line this up. So I'm going to start on this and then work around to the front. Just stretching the seam to see if there's any any gaps like there there's a hole there so I'll just put some glue in and squeeze that shut I turned I'm going to do the same thing so there's quite a big missing joint there if you can see that so I'm going to have to glue that one up and one there but same method as we used on the front, just squeeze it open and glue it up. Super easy. A few minutes later. So there you go. Not the neatest uh, fix in the world, but uh, it's quite complicated. Starts right from the butt, right around the crutch, all the way up on a seam, and then goes across. Not the neatest in the world, but it is strong and it is waterproof and suits ready to go. So there you go, that's uh, how to, um, ha one way, <laughs> it's not how to fix a suit. Um, as you can see, um, I got neater and neater as we went on, but as I also said, I really, it doesn't really matter, it's not across the chest or something, or I might take a little bit more time to kind of uh, make sure it's, it's clean, but it, because uh, it's it's going to be rolled down on that section anyway. So that's how to mend a suit. Um, we've got some people diving with us. And that's it. That's the end of the session tonight. So we've um, got some diving happening tomorrow. Uh, hopefully get some good photographs. Don't forget to uh, next um, Monday we have a Q&A. So a live stream on Monday will be Q&A. So any questions you've got, save them up for then. Um, if you... Uh, want to do, join in any of our diving then please uh, follow the uh, the group on uh, on Facebook the Facebook group uh, and just get, just get involved um, if you want me to do anything uh, special next Friday so Monday is Q&A Wednesday is our live club session and Friday I'm going to do a technical session again so anything you want me to cover next Friday let me know and I'll do it and um, otherwise have a great weekend uh, stay safe while free diving and uh, yeah I'll see you next week okay ciao ciao